Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a scatter plot with SVG circles. I can already tell I want to pull this guy up. A scatter plot is another type of visualization. It usually uses circles to map data points which have two values each. The values tied to an X and Y axis uh, and are used to position the circle in the visualization. SVG has a circle tag to create the circle shape. It works a lot like the rect elements you used in the bar chart. Uh, use data enter and append methods to bind data set to a new circle element that are appended to the SVG canvas. Notice the circles won't be visible because we haven't yet set their attributes yet. We'll do that in the next lesson. Okay, so this is one of those lessons where we won't actually be able to see the results of what we're doing. That's okay. We can do it anyways. Okay, so I'm going to come out here. I'm trying to line up the period with this other period so we have a clean code as we're writing. So, um, yeah. Okay, so first off, we want to set our data. And our data is going to be equal to this guy, which is data set. And because it's a variable, we do not set it as a string. We just go data set. Okay, and so now we've got our data in there. And we're going to go enter, which I think it like initializes the data. And then we're going to go append. Uh, method to bind the data set to the new circle. Uh, elements that are appended to the SVG canvas. Okay, and let's see if that passes. Your code should have 10 circle elements, yet we don't have any right now, right? Dot append. Okay, and it has a circle tag to create that, so let's see what happens. Uh, we've got circle in there. I wonder if we went circle. Okay, so that's what we needed to do. Um, I really don't like these ones where you can't see anything from what you're doing. So this is what I would do. Um, you'll notice I lined up the periods to make the, the, the code look very clean. Essentially, we're just appending data in the circle and we're appending a circle. And we need to pass it in as a string for whatever reason. I think it's because that pulls from the um, D3 library. It makes it from there, but uh, that's my best guess. So yeah, if you're struggling with this, just make sure your data is your data set, and that's the variable that pulls from here, and then you've got your enter, and you're appending your circle uh, as a string, and you're passing in, to the append method, you're passing in a string of circle. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.